Hi, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. Today is March 20th, 2018. I am in my front yard garden. It's probably about 65 degrees and sunny, uh, one in the afternoon. And I wanted to make a short video to talk to you about early bee food in the spring. So um, this is right out my front steps. And as you can see, this is one rosemary bush. Um, I'm gonna stand up so you can get a better view. It is eight years old. And if you notice, it's right up against the front of my house. It's sort of in a sheltered microclimate. And um, if it gets below 15 degrees, I do cover it. And sometimes I get a little bit of dieback, but this is one plant um, that I started from seed. So um, right now you can see it's completely covered in blossoms. And uh, one of the main reasons that I have this rosemary, aside from uh, as a culinary herb, obviously there's way more than I could ever um, hope to use by myself is that it's food for my honeybees. So this rosemary plant began blooming over a month ago and then I'm gonna pan across my front steps here. And I have a second rosemary plant which is a later variety here which is just beginning to bloom and starting to attract bees. So this one will be blooming now and continue to bloom for the next couple months. And I have a littler one over here. Um, so rosemary is an excellent bee food. It makes a really uh, lovely honey, uh, light colored honey. Uh, the pollen from it is almost kind of a, a light violet color, almost like the blossoms. So um, when you look inside the um, colony, sometimes you'll see those stores of bee bread and some folks will think maybe this um, might be moldy or whatever, but it's not. It's actually just kind of a gray, purpley colored pollen. Um, so here we can see a little bee she's feeding right there. Some other early food I have for bees in the garden are my honeyberries, uh, also called hascaps. They've been blooming for about a week or two. Um, other things are dandelions, which I obviously leave everywhere for the birds. Crocus. Um, those are kind of the main ones that I have copious amounts of really early in the year that are all good bee food. Um, come in here for another little look. So one comment that um, I wanted to make about bees that are out foraging, these worker bees are the oldest bees in the colony. So sometimes folks see like an old bee out foraging and it might be missing a leg or having a damaged wing. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. Um, and folks get really concerned about it, but people who don't understand the life cycle of the bee and how the colony operates, these are the oldest bees. The younger bees are working inside the, the hive itself. So by the time these ladies get out here to work, um, they're already pretty old and they start to get relatively damaged. So um, don't stress out if you see some of those older bees that look a little rough around the edges. That's just the part of their life cycle that they're in and they're still able to do their work for the colony, which is basically you know, a super organism. Um, other comment I wanted to make, you can sometimes see bees of different colors. They're all still honeybees, they're just different strains. So some of the darker bees, I don't know if it will focus on this gal right here, like this one, tend to be, in our area, tend to be more of a Russian and Eastern European strains of bees. And the lighter colored bees, um, really blonde looking bees, are Italian strains of bees. Um, I don't know if you can see this girl eating in here. She's a little bit lighter, but not super light. I'm um, not seeing any really light ones. So in our area, the darker bees um, tend to be more aggressive, but they also tend to be hardier. In, in general, beekeepers like the it Italian strains of bees because they're more docile, but they can be prone to more problems. In all of my bees that I've had have been swarms that I've caught. So um, they're from a hive that has been strong enough to reproduce itself and throw off a new colony. So um, I'm not buying particular strains from a breeder um, and I haven't had to requeen any of my colonies. So um, anyway, that's just a little look. If you're considering planting something uh, in your garden that's aesthetically pleasing and is also really good early food for your honeybees, I highly recommend a rosemary. Um, and again, in, in our area, sheltered microclimate, and when they're really little, consider covering them if it gets below 20 degrees or so. Definitely if it's below 15 or you're gonna get dieback. Um, uh, and this again is one plant that I've had going, and I actually harvest a lot off of this throughout the year. So it gets pruned pretty aggressively. You can see some of the areas where it hasn't been pruned as much, it gets a little floppy. So I, I pinch it back and encourage it to get bushier. Um, yeah, um, so that's all I have for today. Just a little bit about early, bee food and um, I'll be back later with probably some more beekeeping videos um, and also some early garden videos. Things are really starting to wake up 
there's lots of things that are budding out and beginning to bloom and I'm also going to be planting some new things so I'll be sure and have some upcoming videos if you like this video please give it a like uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be back next week thanks